Welcome to another Let's Play, ladies and gentlemen. We are doing uh, Dead Pixels 2. I'm your host, Bones. Now, I played part one of this, uh, and I very much enjoyed it. Um, this guy's been working on part two for quite a while now. Um, maybe a little longer than I would have liked. Uh, I'll be quite honest. Um, I feel like there's a lot he wants to do with it. Um, he's been doing a lot of bug fixes right here. Uh, this isn't totally finished. You can consider this, I suppose, early access. There's a little, little thing there. The story mode is not done. This one is a love letter to the 80s. Uh, very much so. If you look, he's done that glowy VHS um, lighting that if you grew up in the 80s, you, you know what that is. Now they have a custom game, Death Sentence, or um, we're gonna do a demo here. Uh, I went through the trouble of making uh, a character just for you guys here. So we will be loading phones there. And we're gonna go and do some uh, ticking. You can see that this is generating. Oh no! 1987, the dead roads across America. Please arrive the first month, welcome to 1981. If I remember right, you'll notice somewhere. Oh my god, I forgot. Uh, you can steer this and just wail on zombies. Boom! What the hell are you doing, Bozo? Driving at full speed through the city is a great way to end up I'm dead. Follow my instructions if you still want to have a pulse tomorrow. Um, use the WASD keys to move. So let's do that. Follow uh, the middle mouse button or left control and move the mouse to the Oh no! no. Uh, move the cursor to the right and press the left mouse button to shoot right. So we're gonna waste some zombies here. Now, you'll notice this is a, uh, much more detailed game than Dead Pixels 1. By the way, Space Fire uses a melee attack, which you didn't have before. Oh, shrook. Use the right mouse button for grenades. Shush car! I'm gonna attract the zombies. Only I can use right. Okay, now go in the uh, loading. Loop, 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 loop. You wanna loop, folks. You wanna loop. You can sell some loop, some loop to stuff like ammo, some loop to use E. Healed ourselves. Now this I like that they did. Uh, the other game didn't have something like this, so this is cool. Um, so we can drop some skill points in here. And luck is deceptively important. So is shooting. I feel like stamina is a good one as well. And we got one more, so. Uh, you know, we're gonna go with speed. Well, yes, prices are important for things. I feel like if you move enough, you can make up for bargaining. Yes, thank you. Let me leave. Hi, Emily. I am trusting. Gotta be, gotta be cause survival. Now there's a baseball bat I can use as a weapon. Out of enough. Local high school will turn to the way of this you're looking for is called salvation. Isn't it always folks? So I have here a wooden bat or a kitchen knife. Now obviously the bat's a little slower, but now this bat looks better so I don't need that. I'm gonna try to do a decent number of both big and small names. Spooky games for Halloween. We want to throw in another Friday the 13th. They actually have a uh, update coming out soon. 
Oh, this doctor here. So we can sell all the junk to get some money. Um, well, we want to buy stuff here, so let's see if there's any treasure. Control weapons. Hold on, we'll have that scale. Five. Just items. We certainly want to buy. Um, I'd like to be able to buy. Reload. When you can and it's just you, please make sure that you are using the other your item. Weapon also would help. If I click it, I'm freaking using that. Yahtzee, look at that. Little rock and sock and one of the weird one folks. Much longer reach. Definitely makes up for the, the decrease in speed. And I'm pretty sure you can beat the hell out of the ATFs too. You do have some stamina there if you notice in the Yeah, that's what I'm talking about, baby. Good top of that stuff. That's good. It probably didn't sound good yet. Anyway, I'm gonna go in here, level it up again. I'll deal with that in just a second. We're gonna go to the next one we get. Uh, anyway, so stuff to notice. As I said before, this is not a completed game. This is a game that uh, this guy is working on. Um, what are my thoughts on it genuinely? Uh, I like it so far. I, I wish he would uh, have gotten a little further on the need because, frankly, I want to play more of it. Um, enjoy the game. Things he is working on right now are multiplayer. You can see the creative character thing is pretty badass. I dig that. Uh, there are a lot of options in it actually. There's a surprising number of options. Let's rock, he says. Now this dude, if I remember right, some of these guys can do special things for you. This guy's a sniper. Oh, he's good ammo. He's getting good ammo, guys. And if you're not sure if you're going to pick up another weapon, you know, I mean, you can wait and see, but... I don't remember which one is better here. Better rate of penetration, fire rate. They're both sort of sucky compared to both. But a backup weapon can very well mean that they can really like what they can. I'm gonna get some 9 millimeters. Okay, well, let's see if I can find it again. And then let's see. Be a sucker, I just sold your batteries. Okay. Oh, buddy. Alright. Yahtzee! Conserve ammo where you can. Like, if you got one dude coming for you, you can just wail on him with the bat. Just wail on him with the bat until you kill him. Ain't no shame in that shit, because you're trying to basically save your own. Um, so hey guys, what are you guys doing for Halloween? Anybody, uh, dressing up as anything fun? What are you guys gonna be for Halloween? Let me know in the comments, eh? Uh, we always love to hear your ideas. We will be doing a Halloween, uh, Let's Play. Uh, we're thinking of even doing a live broadcast on Halloween. Don't quote me on it, we're gonna see what we can do here. Um, maybe if you have a lucky, I will read you some that girl on Co or a HP Lovecraft for that day. Something spooky. Um, you know, just to get in the spirit of Halloween, plus, I mean, it's not kind of what my guy's supposed to be, right? So, 
want to live it up a little, do something for you guys that you guys will really enjoy. And uh, honestly, we hope you will. We want something for you guys that you can get into and like. Oh, let me say hand axe. Personally, I feel like I I would use a hand axe over most other weapons. So we got a baton. We got a rusty hand axe. The range is shite, but the damage is smoking. Kitchen knife is our worst. What's our highest damage? The baton. I'm gonna go with the rusty axe. One more. I feel like we can get some ass whoopery in the game. Um, one thing to note is that this guy uh, has been working on this game a while and has done some iterations. Artwork wise, this has changed styles a little. Um, I like the new style a little better. He's really cleaned it up, I think. Uh, certainly, in my opinion, he has made this much cleaner. Um, before it was good, it was just a little more any pixel where he decided, you know, he wanted to find that sweet spot between retro and decent, and uh, I think he's succeeded in that. Um, he's been doing a lot of bug fixing, even from yesterday and today. Uh, for example, I was going to do this like play yesterday, and wasn't able to do it, so today I um, really dig that there. It was my uh, shitty one of go that I crashed. My own fault, guys, let's be honest. Um, I suck at driving games, so. Racing games, all that. And there are little in-jokes in here, too, by the way. The store I just went in is Nilbog, which is... Um, if you're an 80s kid like I was, then you will know what that's from. If you do not, it is from the show. Um, the movie uh, Troll 2. There it is. Um, Nobog was the name of this town in which people were turning into these horribly ridiculous looking trolls, which were basically just dudes in rubber masks. Um, Troll 1 was an interesting movie with lots of imagination, too. I don't know what 2 was, but it's considered one of the worst movies ever made. Just along with the river. Um, and Manos, The Hands of Fate, which... Movie trivia for y'all. Manos, uh, in Spanish, means hands. So, the actual name of Manos is Hands. The Hands of Fate. Another bit of trivia for y'all, the only one that was paid for the movie, to my knowledge, was the dog. We got a bag of dog food. Yeah, like that was a class act. It was a fertilizer salesman who made that movie. True story. You can look it up. Um, somebody said the little girl was paid too, but that's been debated. I think she was like paid like, she got a tricycle, you know, something, something silly. Uh, if you notice, though, all these things here are definitely 80s fashion. Fly boys had like the old 80s pet shop boys looking uh, art on the walls there. We have a giant plethora of stuff that we can sell, so I'm looking forward to selling and getting the leak. Hopefully we can come up with some severe death machine of a gun that we can earn. I'm gonna go ahead and just run right in here. <laughs> this guy's definitely likes his hugs, doesn't he? That jerk. I'm gonna buy weapons, ammo, and I can well, this seems pretty cheap. We have 11 of these weapons. What is a flare gun? A flare gun is a is this unlimited? I might keep that puppy for the time I'm going to get your knife and let him wooden back out of his end for a while. Let him have the stick. Got a rod, has good range, good penetration. 
Now let's do the rest of the hammer. Oh my god. I want to keep these two. Just in case they're secondary weapons. Oh, I'm going to do the primary weapons. I just kind of think it's going to be back down. Uh, items. I do really want to sell my items. Uh, let's buy some of the shells. We really want shells. Let's, uh, let's get these up. My ship, I really don't sell my ship. The cheap things, uh, I mean, the curtain pebble barrel. Now, I can't. Yeah. I could possibly. Looking at some more stuff. Cheap chains, uh, I think, is not good either. And also, Blender Bus. Ugh. Alright. Well. Stupid is, stupid does. Now let's pick one or the other. We're gonna mostly do good stuff. I don't know. And the fire rate sucks. I'm really okay. I feel like I can use this for that. So we're gonna see. I give it a whirl. If I don't like it, then the next place they go like this. And that would be awesome if I could actually play that game. Uh, then I will, you know, do what I gotta do. Um, now I'm pretty sure in the demo here, guys, we are trying to get to a round boss, I wanna say. It's what I remember anyway. Oh, sweet. Oh, okay. Um, yeah, this player gun just basically uses it. Can I get that game? I'm selling this for the player gun, that sucks. I knew it was too good to be true, guys. I knew it was too good to be true. comments. Good deal. Uh, yeah, so I hope you guys are going to have a fun Halloween today. Uh, it's always my favorite time of year. Um, even when I was like too old to go trick-or-treating, I loved the setting up the yard, the decorating. I never did like the cutesy. You know what I'm talking about? The cutesy decorations. I was all in. I was all in for like the spooky Scare the kids all the way down the damn street decoration, man. Oh, that was me. You know, um, forget the cute little witches and all that. That was a uh, great one we used to do is to take um, just some neon poster board for cheap. The scraps of neon poster board and we would cut them into these creepy looking eyes. Right? And then you would go inside one of your windows and you build this little scene. Um, not really, you could just even take like a box, just a box, and uh, then you would go through and uh, you your choice here. Oh, it's at that, uh, now, do less than the quicker. Most items, no quicker, less than the move, and then animals. Better items, lots of moves, less other items that are removed. Plus items. No trader. Items spread out. I want room to move. I need to wiggle room for going this way, baby. Oh, look at this. Now, this was not on the last build I played, so this is pretty cool. What did I do? Did I run backwards? I think I ran backwards. I didn't. 
Oh, my dork. Oh, no. What did I do? This is probably a bug right here, I think. Music is done when I'm on this one. I've noticed in the past few less plays, it's harder to get in here, so... I thought my jokes are that great, let's be honest, but still. I mean, you're kinda here for the show, right? So... Um, anyways. Like I was saying, so one thing we do is we dress up a window. Uh, God, I a flippy flap. Yeah, you can call me on that one, okay. And one thing that we do is we will like put just something creepy there, like a bunch of uh, almost like spooky eyes, you know, you cut out creepy little eyes. You stick a cheap back black light above the area. Do not let it touch the cardboard fire hazard. It's a great way to burn your damn house down. But I do highly recommend that you sort of like hover it over a few feet and you will get this creepy dim black light that will make these glowing eyes sticking out of the window. And if you go and like put cheap stuff there, like maybe like a, like a skull, you know, something, uh, human remains, go by them and just spray them with uh, clear dishwashing liquid so they look wet. Um, they look great in a black light, man. And it's a cheap effect, but it's a great effect. And honestly, it works fantastically. I, I love it. I've used to use it a lot. Um, there are tons of things that you can do. Mm. Halloween to me was all about being creative, you know? Oosh, nice I died. The pup killed me. Anyways. Um, so that was one thing that I really liked. You know? but Halloween is about being creative. Anyways, look forward to many more spooky games if you've done Dead Pixels 2. Uh, if you don't own Part 1, I can recommend it. Go get it. Uh, part 2, this guy's working on very hard. Uh, you can see he's got a lot of love for the 80s in here. This is supposed to be a local and online multiplayer. The original one, I think, had a uh, local multiplayer still, so still fun for friends and you. Uh, anyways. I have been your host, Bones, and uh, thank you very much for watching. You guys have a good day, and uh, enjoy. Thank you.